Hello everyone. Just wanted to do a quick review for you all on how to set up Stella with the four port joystick paddle adapter from iCode. Um, as you can see, this is the adapter, it has four ports in it and they're numbered one through four. And it's got some buttons on the top for additional buttons. It is a USB port uh, that's on the side here that lets you uh, uh, connect it to your PC. I happen to have um, Stella emulator running uh, for Atari 2600, but of course it'll work with any emulator. Um, I've got control panel running, and control panel, as you can see, I haven't plugged in anything yet, so I don't have any uh, retro joysticks yet. So what I'm going to do is uh, connect the device to my uh, USB port here. All right. Uh, right there. Okay. Now you can see as it'll turn on, and uh, on my PC now I've got uh, my retro joystick adapter. So I'm going to go ahead and right click. It'll detect this automatically, and I'm going to go to my control settings. Move this over a little bit here. So now you can see I've got uh, uh, basically four joysticks. But the way the paddles work, and that's what I wanted to show you today, is um, you know normally you've got four joysticks connected. So if I press these buttons, uh, you will see the screen shows you each of the four ports are mapped to one of these uh, diagrams. And as you move the joystick, if I, if I had a joystick plugged in, as I move things around, it'll push those. And then these are the common buttons here at the bottom. So four common bot buttons that can be used. But I'm going to go ahead and connect the uh, paddles. I've got uh, a dual paddle adapter here uh, connected to this wire and then another uh, two paddles to this wire. So they will go into joystick ports uh, one and two. So I'm going to connect those. And when you switch between joysticks and paddles, yeah, you've got to do a quick uh, reset. You can either unplug or replug. Or if you push all these four buttons in the middle, and you'll see that it did a quick reset. Now it's gone into paddle mode. So as I move these uh, paddles left and right, you'll notice that uh, it's uh, you know moving my paddles here, and the other paddles, the other two in joystick two port, control these. Now the way these are uh, uh, connected to your PC are since there's only two ports here that the paddles are connected to, they're mapped to uh, adapter, the first one and the second one. So let me give it a shot here and show you how it works. So I'm going to go into the first one. So notice that uh, as I move these, uh, the first set of paddles that's connected to port one, the joystick, uh, you know, the x-axis moves with the paddle as I move and the y-axis moves with the other paddle. And then the button on the first paddle is button one, and the button on the second paddle is button two. So both devices are being sent uh, to this port number one, which is connected to uh, joystick one over here um, in the control panel. And then same thing with uh, number two. Oops, if I go to number two here, and close this one out. If I go to number two, now, joystick uh, paddles one and two don't change, but if I take these two other paddles that are connected to port two, they're going to uh, control the left and right and up and down, and then button zero and button one. So that's how they're connected. So all you have to do now, that now that your um, paddles are all set and they seem to be working fine, um, I'm going to go into Stella and uh, you know obviously what you want to do is go to options and under um, input settings you know notice that I've mapped um, each of the paddle analog is the axis 0 for the first paddle which is paddle 0 the fire button is um, button 0 the um, analog paddle 1 which is the second paddle is the other axis one instead of axis zero and the fire button is button one instead of button zero 
And then the same things for um, you know analog two and three and the fire buttons. You can uh, map those accordingly, and then you're all set. Once you've got those mapped, then you know let's go ahead and exit the menu and try Warlords, which is one of my favorite four-player games. So I'm going to go ahead and start it. Here it is. And I'm going to push uh, start here. I'm going to go to four-player. Okay. So and here we go. So as I move my paddles, um, these are working perfectly. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and reset one more time and uh, go to game mode one which is the first game which is a four player uh, so our four paddles work here we go here we go game one four players so i'm going to go ahead and start that notice uh, here we go that's my yellow one is my uh, first paddle that i'm moving and then uh, Oh, my second player died already, so I have no blue. And then uh, purple, I'm moving the paddle left and right. And then the green paddle. And of course, if you press the buttons, it'll uh, quickly capture the ball that's moving around, and you can uh, move it around. So I hope this helped. It works perfectly without any jitter, provided your paddles are good paddles that don't have jitter. Uh, but the device works extremely well. Thank you.